So this is the uh, 1969 Triumph Bonneville project that I have that's about uh, 75 to 80% done. Uh, that needs a new home. And this project was started for a client and uh, the guy ran out of money, so I took the bike back. Um, so anyway, here's where we're at. It's got a replica of a 40s style Chrome Springer front end, um, 21 inch straight laced front rib, uh, sorry, uh, Avon rib tire with uh, straight lace spokes with a uh, nice ribbed hub on the center. It, these are uh, the nice, uh, as you can see here, the nice sun rims. Uh, race it up. The frame is uh, completely powder coated with the uh, bolt-on hardtail section. Whole thing's been uh, powder coated. Uh, this is a brand new, fresh rebuild uh, 650 Bonneville motor with the 750 uh, cylinder head big piston kit. It's got big race cams in it. Uh, the motor was completely rebuilt by uh, Meatball over at Hello Wells MC over there by Disneyland, who's an uh, awesome engine builder um this has been converted over to the belt drive setup um as you can see here it has well we'll show you the oil bag first it's got a uh, custom aluminum rib oil bag with uh, brass brackets that we made uh, mounting hard setup for that that's all set up and uh ready to go it's got a uh custom what we call back east uh, peanut tank that's been tunneled uh, to sit real, real low down on the engine, so it gives it a real nice uh, low profile. The theme that I was going for with this guy was kind of like a flat track racer, and uh, as you can see, it doesn't have any bars set up yet, but I was going to do kind of like motocross uh, shape type bars and kind of give it that whole uh, kind of motocross vibe in a sense, or flat track, I should say. Um, no C-pan yet on this, so you can pretty much make any kind of C-pan that you'd like. Um, big real trick rear fender setup on this. It's a, a dual rear fender, and then we did what was like an old school flat track race setup here. We uh, I fabricated these brackets. It's a quick release setup. So you have the rear struts here. You just undo these Allen bolts, and the whole rear fender slides back over the wheel. And as you can see here, down. Let me see if I can get in there and show you. I'll raise the chain a little bit. It's it's a uh, it's a quick release fender, so it locks onto the frame locks onto the frame up top and then all you have to do is take off these two bolts and the rear fenders off the bike um new rear sprocket setup uh this is a full roller it's not fully shimmed and adjusted just yet um the engine hasn't been obviously hasn't been started yet but it's 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 mocked up but again it would need to be uh just shimmed to do it right i did a uh it's got the sun race rim in the rear which is another flat track setup and then we uh did a custom Brembo brake setup, custom bracket, Brembo brake here. Uh, my plan was to run no front brake, and then where the handbrake would be, uh, would work the rear disc uh, Brembo on this. But So that's all set up, just needs to be plumbed. Um, as you can see, all brand new side covers. I do have the side cover for the side with the belt drive, which is right here, brand new, which is wrapped up. I just took it off so you could see the, uh, the belt drive. Uh, like I said, tank is brand was a brand new tank that we tunneled. Um, uh, like I said, the thing that's left on this would be wiring, handlebars, um, you know, your brake brake plumbing, oil, and then the, the carbs put on. I don't have. I was my plan was to put brand new animal carbs on this. I don't have carbs available, but they're you know you can get those rather rather easily. But like I said, uh, frames all powder coated. Uh, you know, custom lower bracket that I powder coated for the rear disc brake setup. Um, so it's a solid full roller. Um, you know, everything was done professionally. Like I said, complete professional rebuild on the motor. Um, so it's all fresh, brand new, ready to go. So that is the, oh, it's numbers matching to the motor and the frame, uh, which is stamped. Well, you can't hardly see it from the powder coating, but it's stamped here and then it matches the, obviously the motor number down here um i don't have a title for this it would be bill of sale uh this frame and motor was a basket case that was given to me from another bike that did have a title and the guy threw in this frame and motor and that that turned into this project so uh, but it could be put back into the dmv system 
fairly easily since all the numbers are matching and everything. Um, and that's that.